Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. Today I've got something that um, I've been wanting to review for a while now, but I was kind of holding off because they are normally quite expensive, so I don't feel like spending out the money for them because it doesn't seem like it's a lot of food for the money, so it doesn't seem to be good value, but I saw these in Morrison's the other day when I was shopping and they were on sale for 94p and they're normally about three or four pounds so I decided to pick them up. So these are Brew City Pickle Bar Fries, dill pickle strips in a light mustard batter. So they um they have a, this is a fairly new range, they have a lot of different stuff in it. Um, They've got the, the pickle bar fries, there's some kind of mozza stick things, there's a bunch of other stuff as well. And it all sounds really, really nice, so I really have been wanting to try some of this stuff. Um, and good um, deep fried pickles is something that you don't get a lot over here. Which is which is a shame, because pickle, fried pickles are amazing. They are like one of my favourite things, I absolutely love them. You can get them in some restaurants, but you tend not to be able to get them in, uh, in the freezer section or anything. So... Yeah, very looking forward to them. At least I, I was looking forward to them when I, I picked them up. Um, now, yeah, I'm about 50-50 now that I've seen them. Um, I'll show you why in a wee second. So let's uh, let's learn a little bit about these Brew City Pickle Bar Fries, shall we? So that's what they're supposed to look like on the box. So keep that in your minds. That's what they're supposed to look like. They look like fries, but they're made out of pickles. Um, so we are Brew City. When you're with your mates and the munchies sit in after a few drinks, we'll be there too. Our food is proper tasty and goes brilliantly with beer. It's beer munch. Perfectly pairs with a tangy pilsner, apparently. There you go. I don't have a tangy pilsner. I don't have any beer in the house, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, you cook these in the oven. takes about 15 minutes. Uh, let's have a wee look and see what the ingredients are. So there are slices of pickled gherkins coated in a mustard batter. So it's made from gherkin, 74%, which is cucumber, water, salt, vinegar, firming agent, spices, garlic oil, dill oil, turmeric extract. And then the batter, which is made from wheat flour, water, maize flour, mustard, horseradish powder, garlic powder, maltodextrin, raising agents, which is three different E numbers, um, salt, maize, starch, dried garlic, yeast extract, whey protein, onion powder, white pepper, dextrose, wheat gluten, modified starch flavouring, sunflower oil, gelling agent, agent, which is another E number, and colour, which is paprika extract, and then sunflower oil. So, fairly straightforward, I would say. Nothing, nothing too crazy there. Um, so, nutritional information. There's 200 grams in this box. Um, so, pair 100 grams. I would say about half of that is a portion, so I think that's fair. I'm probably going to eat the whole thing, that's if they're nice, that is. Um, pair 100 grams, oven baked, 173 calories. That's not bad, actually. That's quite good. Um, of which are saturates, um, 0 0.8 grams. Um, sorry, the fat is 8.1 grams, and then 0 0.8 grams of saturates. So, it's, that's, again, that's not, not too bad. I mean, if you look at the top of the thing, greens and yellows, the only thing that's high on this is the salt. Carbs. Uh, 19 grams, 1.3 grams of sugar, 3 grams of fiber, 4.1 grams of protein, and then 3.1 grams of salt. So quite high in salt, but apart from that, not too bad. So, Brew City Pickle Bar Fries. Right, I'm going to show you them now. That's what they actually look like in the bowl. Now that's the picture on the box, and that's what they look like in the bowl. They don't look like fries, do they? It looks like a big mess of batter and pickles. So... I'll tell you what happened. When I took these out of the freezer and opened the box to, uh, you can see the, this comes in a nice wee, nice wee box, and uh, took them out, come in a bag, and they had formed into one giant ball, a giant lump, which I then had to break apart with a knife in order to spread it out on the tray, and in doing so, the, the whole, the things just completely fell apart. So, the freezing process, whatever they do, it does not help these things hold their shape. And they haven't defrosted at any point, you know, I had to get them from the shop to here, which shouldn't have defrosted them enough to form them into a cohesive mass. Um, so yeah, for something that's supposed to be a relatively expensive, high quality product, that's incredibly disappointing and um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't buy them again purely for that reason. Because I'm, if I'm going to pay 
like full price for something like this, they have to be perfect. They really have to be good. And that is an absolute mess. So the only consolation for me here is hopefully that despite the mess, they are still quite nice. So let's do it then. Let's give them the old uh, college try. So this is uh, Brew City Pickle Bar Fries, proper bar snacks. Let's give them the old taste test. I'm going to see if I can try and find a, a reasonably whole one. I mean, that's got batter and pickle in it. Looks a bit mushy. Let's do it. That's all just a pickle with some batter falling off it. Hmm. Right, well, batter is actually not as crunchy as I was hoping. Good pickles, good fried pickles have a proper crunchy outside batter. These aren't that crunchy really. The pickles are tangy. A little bit on the sour side though. I think maybe because they're done in the oven, the batter doesn't have the crunchiness that you quite want out of them. But um, they're okay for being oven made, I suppose. But I wouldn't deep fry that because that's just a bunch of batter scraps with some pickles hidden inside. I'm trying to see if I can find one that's a reasonably, reasonably full fry. I think. Maybe that, although it's a bit floppy. That one, close. That's about the closest thing I've got to an actual full fry. They're nice, they're edible, but are they worth what you would normally pay for them? No, no, not at all. The batter doesn't adhere to the actual pickles it does it seems um, not very well anyway so the batter just um, just come off them completely and uh, yeah they're just a mess I mean they taste okay I could do with some ranch dip although it'd be hard to dip these in because they're not exactly full things are they I could do with some ranch dip but they're um, yeah pretty disappointing they taste okay, they taste pickly, although there's a little bit of bitterness in the back of the tongue, which I don't like. Um, the batter's disappointing, it's not crispy enough. It's not crunchy enough. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's just because they're, they're, they're a total mess. So, yeah, I wouldn't have them again. For 94p, worth giving them a try, but, yeah. Can't say I'm... Um, as excited about this range as I once was. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit poor, a bit disappointing, to be honest. Mm. I wouldn't buy those again. I try making my own pickles, my own deep fried pickles. I think those, those would probably be a lot better. Right, well, that'll do it for today. These were the Brew City Pickle Bar Fries. Mm, disappointing. I wouldn't recommend them just because they but I mean, that's just all batter. They fall apart. They, they came out of the freezer in one big ball and I had to break it apart, so... Um, doesn't really work, does it? Pretty, yeah. Pretty poor attempt, I have to say. Well, that'll do for today. If you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Hit the wee bell to get notifications anytime one of my videos comes out. I think you have to subscribe first, though. Which you should do, because... Because... And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've had these before. If you had the same experience with them, let me know because I'd be curious to see if it was just me. Um, and uh, yeah, leave me a wee comment and let me know if um, there's anything you want me to try. I'll do it. I also have Instagram, so head on over to Instagram. I post pictures of all the different stuff on there. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. So thanks very much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later.